video is brought to you by G2Wait.com for cheap games, MSP, and PSN codes. Hey guys, how's it going? Master Bucks here. Welcome to another 2022 Future World Cup National Teams video, and today we are going to be taking a look at Spain. Now, this is one that I've been looking forward to doing for a very, very long time because I always do take an interest in the Spanish national side because they do have so many great young up-and-coming players and, again, amazing players right now at the peak of their, at the peak of their powers and uh, some players that, obviously, like I said, can get even better. And we are absolutely going to smash it. There are so many amazing players and the amount of depth that this team has is unlike almost any other team that we've seen. Brazil, maybe rival it, but still, it's incredible. So without further ado then, guys, this is the Spanish national team in 2022. And take a look at that bad boy. That's a 4-3-3 formation, a 90-rated goalkeeper in between the sticks in De Gea, of course. They've got a bunch of younger players with a couple of senior players like Sergio Ramos there, Jose Gaia as well, Car uh, Carvajal as well, Martinez, Busquets, Isco and Thiago. What a midfield. And they've got Dulafeu up front. They've got Alcacer. They've got Koke as well. Manu, another 90-rated goalkeeper. So you've got two to pick from there. More great defenders as well. A couple of surprising players that have shot up. Guys like Fabregas who have stuck around. Toro as well, another one that's gotten pretty high compared to what his potential is, but still, guys like Asen Chao, I completely butchered that, I'm sorry. Bellerin, who maybe didn't go as high as what we all thought, but still, and then a bunch of other players. They're all around, at least at the very worst, in that starting, or in that team, around just a little bit above low 80s. It's an incredible side. It really is a brilliant, brilliant team. There were definitely a couple of surprises in that team. A few players that you definitely didn't expect to get in, like that Raul Navas bloke, as well as uh, Lucas Toro, who's got a decent potential, but not in the mid-80s and still. And then, again, we take a look at the national pool, the first five or so pages worth of players, and again, a lot of great players that got super, super close, and more players that have gone way above their potential, or way past their overall, or potential again. And they're still not getting into this amazing side. It's absolutely crazy. In fact, some of the players that I thought were had just gotten into the side were players that have underperformed with their potential, but still found a way in. Like, for example, Bellerin. He's somehow robbing spots off of, or not necessarily robbing, but he's taking spots off of other great players that have done really well with their potential. Like, we're up to page five now, now, and they're still 81 rated at 80 at the fifth page. How many players do you need to go just to get down to the 70s, man? Spain have absolutely killed it. That 90 rated Manu as well was definitely another very big surprise too. That rivaling the spot, having the exact same overall as a super at his peak David De Gea. That's absolutely crazy how, yeah, but anyway, we're going to move on. We're going to go with David De Gea only because he's the most realistic choice and the more likely choice since, of course, uh, when we get a tie, I do normally take just the best player possible, but since we've got two players with the exact same rating, we're going to go, I'm going to go ahead and take the most realistic signing that time anyway. But still, let's take a moment now to go through, of course, uh, recapping the team again. So many great players that have unfortunately left us and gotten a little bit younger. Oh, it's not serious. Not necessarily younger, but have gotten a little bit older and have not been able to keep their standards or have actually eventually retired. We've got guys like, oh, just so many great players. That it's going to be weird without them in the Spanish side, but Ike Casillas, that is the big one. Absolutely. The captain, he's no longer in the side in between the six. So that's been passed on to David De Gea. And again, one last look at the team before we go to, uh, before we go to war with uh, New Zealand. I'm sure that's... Um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. You would think that it'd be a pretty obvious result, but this game might surprise you. It really will be crazy. But either way, Andres Iniesta, another one that unfortunately missed out. Of course, he's done. Dab uh, David Silva again. He's probably moved on. Gerard Piquet is not in the team anymore. We've got Santiago uh, Casola as well, another good player for Arsenal at the moment. Uh, I thought a player that maybe could have, I, I honestly expected to still be in the side, was uh, one matter, but nope. Apparently, he's gotten on a little bit too much as well. And then a few other obvious ones like... Uh, uh, Xavi Alonso as well and a couple others so there really wasn't in the end too many surprises with a lot of those players leaving but however there were definitely a few of the names that I read out I thought could have gone on for a little bit longer maybe not been starting 11 plays but at least gotten into the team but no and um, anyway again we're still about a half or just about half an hour in now and we're still yet to really score we've had a couple of chances had a couple of corners and attacks here and there but yet we really were coming up short and this New Zealand defense to their credit were being very very resilient and uh you know, being an Aussie, I obviously wanted to take the, I obviously wanted to take these guys to fucking town and doing it with Spain. I would have thought, yeah, sure, this should be easy, but no. To be fair, they were doing a really good job. But uh, yeah, anyway, 
moving on, just a couple of other players that I thought maybe I could have expected to see in this team, like guys like Oliver Torres as well, who's been known, at least uh, with me recently, that he's done absolutely brilliantly. And I can't believe, after all that, that we still somehow hadn't scored and we were now in the second half and we're still failing to score a goal past these blokes. But either way, maybe here on the counter-attack, you never know, but we'll keep on going with it. Oliver Torres was a player that I was expecting to maybe get in the side. That didn't happen. We've got Danny Ceballos. He didn't make it either. Again, a bit tricky. Hector Bellerin, even though he did make it into the team and he is in the starting 11, I did expect him to get a little bit higher than 83, even though his potential is only around mid-80s. But again, uh, we were denied as well a little bit a few moments ago by the goalkeeper again, who'd been absolutely insane, this Kiwi goalkeeper. Uh, Munir, who didn't make it as well as another uh, Barcelona player, Sergio Roberto. A couple of other youth players that just missed out, but still. After 18 minutes of struggling to score, we just get a little free kick from the impossible angle, and who steps over it? Thiago. I'll be 87, 88 rated right now, and just, you know, just take it, leave it to a set piece, leave it to Thiago to just bloody whip one in. I didn't even look at anyone else to take the free kick, just aimed it toward the goal, whipped it over the bar, whipped it over the, uh, over the wall, the very small wall, may I just add, by the way, who didn't even bother jumping if it even would have made a difference, and bang, in it goes. Their keeper, who'd been absolutely sensational, couldn't stop that one, and finally, we'd gotten our goal. It hasn't been a goal fest like some of the other videos before, but still. There we have it. We finally got our goal. We do go on to win this game as well, but do we get a second goal? That's the question. No, we don't because I can't shoot for shit. What was that? Straight to their goalkeeper. That is going to do it for this future 2022 World Cup team video for Spain. I, I want to thank you guys so much once again for watching another one of these videos. Don't forget, of course, to leave in the comments down below any other teams, any other national sides you want me to see uh, or you want to see that you want me to do in this series. And until then, guys, my name is Master Bucks. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, have a good one. Bye-bye.